Open Borders pro-amnesty advocates fiercely lobbying now the president-elect to uh, immediately change immigration policy enforcement. Well, on the campaign trail, Obama pledged his support for amnesty and he blasted enforcement raids. But as Kenny Pilgrim now reports, the majority of Americans oppose amnesty for illegal aliens. Barack Obama's position on immigration during the campaign was a calculated formula to draw Latino voters. He called for beefing up border security and enforcing existing immigration laws. But he also supported amnesty, saying immigration enforcement raids were, quote, terrorizing communities. They are counting on us to stop the hateful rhetoric filling our airways and rise above the fear and rise above the demagoguery and finally enact comprehensive immigration reform. But a new Zogby poll taken after the election found fewer than a third of Obama supporters favor amnesty for illegal aliens. In fact, the majority of voters, 60 percent, said cracking down on employers of illegal aliens is important to them. 57 percent of voters said amnesty would harm American workers and further strain public resources. So the question for Obama is, is he going to want to own this issue? Is he want to going to go out on a limb and face all the public opposition to an amnesty approach? In Washington today, illegal alien advocacy groups are trying to put pressure on the new president-elect to stop immigration raids. We, as a collective, saw the chance to give our country a new beginning. We voted because our future was at stake. Raids have been one of the most destructive aspects of our failed immigration reform, and we must, pretend, we must stop pretending that raids do anything other than separate families. We asked President-elect Obama to make immigration reform a top domestic priority. Two-thirds of Latino voters supported Obama in the presidential election. Now, the pressure is building on this issue when the new president takes office in January. Rallies are planned, calling for a stop to immigration enforcement raids and to push for an amnesty plan in the first year of the new administration, Lou. And uh, two, two facts that are not often uh, put forward in this debate uh, by those amnesty advocates, open borders advocates. First, that last year we had over a million new citizens naturalized into this country. Over a million. There's no country in the world that comes close. And ignored in the debate or that those people are here, those Ill illegally, are, are not here as a result of public policy, but rather at the behest of, uh, of certain business elites uh, led by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce demanding cheap labor uh, to exploit. Yeah. Uh, it, it's truly, uh, it's just truly uh, unspeakable. Uh, that our public policies in this country are being debated without uh, a direct, square uh, look at the facts. It's certainly going to be a tough position for Obama as he moves forward into this year because it will not be an issue that will go away easily. All right. Thank you very much, Kitty Pilgrim.